Hey guys, it's me, Hayes. It's been a little while. If you can't tell, we have a little change of scenery. I did move, have my own personal safe space. Content's gonna be more consistent. Hopefully there will be an apartment tour. We have honestly been working our asses off. Um, I should be able to get a good old apartment tour coming out within the next month if you guys are interested in that. I know I kind of said that this channel was like fashion based, but if you guys are into an apartment tour, more than happy to do that. But um, I missed you guys. You guys deserve some content. So what I have prepared for today is a little thrift haul unboxing. I went back home to Vegas, that's where I'm from, and let's just say I did some damage. When I'm back home, um, especially now, it's summer. I'm out of school, no summer school for me this year, or probably ever. Last summer, uh, literally, ripped me into shreds, tore me apart, spit me out. That's how it felt. Had no me time. This summer is just pretty much dedicated to making that money, duh, and doing some like fun things in my free time, whether that be YouTube, editing, fashion, content, thrifting, all the above. With that in mind, I thought it would be fun to do a little unboxing. I shipped this box from Vegas to where I'm at now. Let's just say whenever I go back home, I normally only travel with a personal bag, just to save that extra penny. And I always go thrifting when I'm back home. Kill time, have really nothing else to do other than hang out with my kitty, which she's now here. She's here with us. Lucy is Aww. going to be in the content now so you're welcome i'm still living in the same state so shipping ain't too bad this is a 16 pound box and i think it cost me 14 dollars to ship so honestly if you ask me that's a steal instead of like trying to stuff my personal bag on the airplane full with clothes um i just go this route when i went back home the other week just found a bunch of sick ass shit so i thought this would be a good video to put out i'm hoping to do a try on because all of this stuff was sourced for like my personal wardrobe i'm hoping that all of it fits and honestly let's just get into it so the try on portion is going to be recorded at a later time i do want to wash all these clothes yeah let's get um boxing all right first piece is this affliction a little red and black reversible zip up honestly what drew me to it was the red and black colorway it just features the classic affliction branding with the cross but like i was saying it is reversible so this side is actually like a lace portion i'm not really a fan of the other side just because of like all this like floral details not huge on floral even if it's like kind of grunged up like this it's just not my go-to was from goodwill six dollars not too bad next i have this skin industries little handbag this one's so cute it's giving me like that bowler bag style and with the like little varsity numbered situation going on super cute though a little like too stiff for like the shoulder area so it's definitely more of like a handheld bag it has cool little like pockets on each side and this was from savers ten dollars not gonna lie this one hurt the bank a little bit this is a red and black fishnet little handheld bag it's honestly the perfect shoulder bag too this is surprisingly victoria's secret yeah this one was fifteen dollars um but honestly like this is truly like me in a bag lastly i got this roxy little 90s cheetah print bag it has cool red interiors it has like these cute little pocket details on the front zipper 
Here's the Roxy logoing. It's great on the shoulder, love that. Just another cheetah print bag for the collection. As let's just say I have a lot. This one was $6 from Savers. Someone explained to me Savers pricing because all three of those bags were from Savers and they all had like a $5 price difference, so. Next, I found these Ed Hardy Velour track pants. I'm definitely looking for a pair for a while. I don't think I have any Ed Hardy track pants. So this was an exciting find. They are definitely a little worn, but it just features like the koi fish, graphic prints, um, embroidered Don Ed Hardy on the back. Honestly, these bad boys be going on Depop for 100, 150. So to find it at Savers for 549, I'm not complaining. Next, I have this striped turtleneck Bay Bay top. Um, it's super cozy, soft. Honestly, feels like mohair. Oh, it's Angora rabbit hair. Mm. Okay, it's secondhand. It does have some like slight pilling. Nothing that a pill shaver remover can't do the trick on. So not a problem. I think it'll be super cute to pair with like a mini skirt right now. I got this at Opportunity Village and it was $7. Next I got this super cutie vintage fashion bug from the 90s. It is made in the USA and it's just this maxi brown crochet knit skirt. Super cute. Um, I don't think I really have anything like this, or if I do, it's not in this color. So this I got from Savers for $8.29. I got this sheer little goth-esque mesh top. It's by the brand Orphan Black, Lucid Collection by Hot Topic. It's not too old. I think it's mid 2000s. I was doing some like little digging on it. Love any old school Hot Topic brands. The top I'm actually wearing is a Hot Topic brand called Monster back in the day. This one, just love the back hit. I got it from Savers and it was $6.99. Next, I got this pair of denim. Super cool wash it's like gray with like pink contrast stitching this back pocket hit was giving me like ibisu vibes it's super subtle don't really have any gray wash denim it also has this like secret like stash pocket on the back too so i went to salvation army and instead of them having like tags with the prices they just tag them with the little plastic thingies and the color just pretty much differentiates the style so this is like considered pants and so they just have like a starting price i don't know if i'm explaining that right but i think these were seven dollars Ooh, next i got this dead stock little tank from the brand bella mode but it was sold at value city don't really know too much about value city but they were only selling it for four dollars okay has paper tag made in the usa yeah it's just a cute like dainty like varsity-esque sportswear top um, but i got this from opportunity village for five dollars next i got this like goth ballet core lace mini dress so it's like the low cut back the tag is unfortunately cut out it's super cute basic do you remember i got it from opportunity village i think it was like five dollars next i got this little midi maxi skirt super cute pinstripe black and white details by the vintage brand new star usa definitely like an old school 90s brand it has a sick like button work love the buttons they have like a black stitch work detail to them they're giving me like Coraline vibes. Got it from Opportunity Village for $7. Next, I just got this classic vintage maxi length sheer dress. Um, another classic basic. Been loving like this underneath with like a baggy tee over. Sexy but like grunge punk look. This is by the brand Ronnie Nicole. This was unfortunately $9 um, from Goodwill, but hey, it's cute. 
I'll put it to use. Then I have this Charlotte Russe little micro mini plaid skirt. Super cute and preppy look. Has like the button enclosures right here, the big black buttons. Has like the pleated details on the bottom too. It is older Charlotte Russe. I got this from Goodwill for $5. Next I have this House of Blues little tank top. I just came across a long sleeve version um, of this. I'll grab it right now, honestly. I just picked up this long sleeve version from my work. I'll definitely have to determine which one I like more. Super cool, it's vintage. It's giving like JPG vibes, super like cool all over print. I got it from Goodwill for $3. I actually found this in the little kids section. Oh, this piece is so adorable. It is a vintage Fredericks of Hollywood blue, like the most gorgeous blue aqua color. Little lace cami, super old school Fredericks tag. Such insane black lace details. This is just such an adorable piece. And I got this from Opportunity Village for $5. And then right next to it, I want to assume it's probably Fredericks too. They must have just cut out the Fredericks tag. Same thing, gorgeous hot pink colored lingerie tank cami. Black lace trim. This one was from Opportunity Village as well for $4. Next, I have been on the lookout for a classic red mini skirt. It's vintage aqua blues. Staple. Um, found it at Goodwill for $5. Next, I found this Lucky Brand like midi maxi crochet skirt. But I know the quality will definitely be there. It's very heavy. Just in this like pink and purple crochet knit colorway. It's just super cute to die for. And I got it at Salvation Army. So like I was saying, they just mark the items with the like plastic tag piece. So it was just like a flat rate price of I think probably $7. Next, I got a classic black corset. I think it'll fit me great. It is vintage Empire Intimates. The corsetting on the back definitely needs to be retied. Love that it has little garter straps. I think it's definitely a fun classic piece. I got it from Goodwill for $6. Next, oh my god, I was so like excited over this piece. It's just a classic. Sorry, it's inside out because I was trying it on. I had to right as I saw it. It's by the vintage brand B Smart. Definitely 90s piece. It's a classic bolero shrug mesh top. Super flattering on. It like cuts perfectly around the shoulders. I got it at Goodwill for six dollars. Uh, yes, I got this no boundaries wrap around shrug top as well. Similar cut to that last one, just a little longer. My favorite part, the cheetah trim neckline. Like I said, it's no boundaries from like early mid 2000s. This was from Savers for $7. Next, just another classic like sporty tank. Perfect for the summertime right now. It's a vintage Marika, I want to say the brand is. Neon bright green. I want to say this is like a navy, navy or black trim. But yeah, super cute, already cropped. Um, I think it'll fit really nice. I got this from Salvation Army. I wanna say it was about $3. Ugh, love this piece. Another vintage no boundaries. This plaid mini dress, perfect staple. I've definitely been on the lookout for like a classic plaid print like this. And I don't think I have anything like this. This piece though does have like little belt loops. So I'm like wondering if it came with a little belt, but they're so tiny. I'm like, how could a belt even fit through this? I think it's cute just as is. I found this at Savers for $5.49. Guys, we're getting to the bottom. Ugh. Next, I have this Deadstock Venice Boulevard mini dress. Super cute, sporty beach girl vibes. Star sold me. Got it from Savers. This piece was $10.99. I found it in the little kids section, so. Next is a classic old school Charlotte Russe tie cardigan. Another just classic like staple to have in your closet. It does have flare sleeves. It is like a bit of an awkward length, 
but I think I'll make do. I just love how it just has the one little tie enclosure so you're still like showing whatever you're wearing underneath it or if you don't want to wear anything underneath it. Got some little tummy action going on. I got this from Salvation Army. It was probably about like five dollars. Next is another just classic staple top. Just this black vintage one step up tank. Just features a cute little like ribbing tie situation right here. I think it'll be really flattering on the bust area. I got this from Salvation Army. It was probably about three dollars. We're nearing the end. I got these insane capris with the most crazy wide leg flare. Classic pinstripe, huge like button detail, love that. It's by the vintage brand, Park Avenue, made in the USA. It's super, super cute. Got it from Savers for $4.49. Guys, that is the end of my unboxing haul. I hope you liked this video. I felt like I should take advantage of the fact that I just got like almost a wholesale box of clothes. And let me know what you guys are looking to see this upcoming summer. I'm so ready to pump out the content. I do have a, an idea in mind other than the apartment tour. I do want to record a video and I just want to hear your guys' opinion on whether or not you'd be interested in it but I do want to record a Fruits Magazine inspired like lookbook. I do have about eight magazines from Fruits Magazine. I definitely want to put them to use. I thought it'd be fun to like give you guys an inside scoop on those magazines because they are quite a pain to get your hands on. If you are interested, I was hoping to put together a video of me randomly flipping through the magazines and coming across a look and then recreating it. If you guys want to see that video, let me know down in the comments. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Aww.